Hi guys, welcome in, welcome in. How are you guys? Happy, 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 happy Tuesday. I almost said Wednesday. Happy, 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 happy Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, so we're having my little six ounces of ground turkey. Ground turkey. I have an interview, guys, so keep your keep your fingers crossed for me that I get the job. Please, 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 please. The job interview is with Covers. It's a burger place here in Florida. I think they have it in other places. So this is my outfit. I just feel so fat right now, like... But I was like, in my head, I keep telling myself, like, maybe they won't hire you because you're fat. But then I'm like, I've seen fat people working before at restaurants or at Walmart or different stores. You know, their job is like to clean or to make the food in the back or something, you know. So I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't mind cleaning tables or whatever I got to do just to get a job so I can move out. And I think, I think, I think I might move to D.C. I haven't made up my mind yet. But I'm looking towards DC. I'm really looking towards DC because I was pricing around. Let's say Grace, dear God, bless this fruit in Jesus' name. Or dear God, bless this fruit, bless this time. Please let me get this job or open another door for me, God. And pray for um, my whole new weight loss journey and pray for people who are suffering in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So here's what it looks like. I made this yesterday. I cooked all day yesterday. To me, it's a little dry. To me. My mom says it's perfect. She loves it. I mean, it could have done a little bit more. Because I didn't put any Worcestershire sauce. And I didn't put any breadcrumbs. And I didn't put any hoisin. So to me, it's a little dry. But the good thing about it being plain is you can add stuff to it later. Like you can add tomato sauce if you want to make... If you want to make a... Um, a pizza with it. If you want to make it into chili, if you want to make it into a taco, you can make it with a taco. And I got my trusty water. So, anyway, guys, I literally had epiphany last night, or whatever the word is, right? So, it's just been me for like two days, and. You know, like just me and my best friend talking every single day, whatever. And I don't talk to my son that much anymore. And I'm fine with that. You know, I'm happy that he has friends. I'm happy he's doing stuff. I'm happy that he's, you know, anyways, he's growing. He's 15 now. So, I mean, like those times are going to come. You're not going to. Now, I understand why they say as a parent to cherish the moments because it goes so fast. It does. It really does go fast. So, anyway. So at Epiphany last night, I told myself, okay, I said, so, I looked at my, I looked at myself in the mirror, I cried for like a good 30 minutes, right, not like sobbing, crying, just crying, you know, where the, it drips down your face, or whatever, like a movie cry, probably, <laughs> and I just said, I said to myself, you jackass, I said, Go back to 2020. Um, go back to December of 2021. Or no, December of 2019 when you did your surgery. Getting all the way from May, this time May of 2019, all the way to December of 2019. Getting ready for surgery and how much weight I lost. I lost, when I lost the first 100 pounds, it was like I lost a whole person. Oh my God, I felt so good. Then when I lost... Another 100 pounds. I felt like a different person. When I got all the way down to three in the 300s again, that was like amazing. Then when I got into the 200s, that was amazing. But anyways, we're not going to go backwards. So I told myself yesterday, what's my good cry? I said, you know what? You should matter. You need to worry about yourself. You need to let go of people that pull you down, take advantage of you. Think that, okay, you're just an idiot. You're just going to be sitting there. So I'll call you when I want to call you. I'll talk to you when I want to talk to you. I'll see you when I want to see you. I'll ask for money when I want money. I will, whatever, right? And they don't respect you. So I decided that we're almost to the middle of the year. June is the middle of the year. It's 2024. As soon as I start my shots, guys, I'm going to document it on my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and 
You guys can come along on the journey with me. I think I'm going to do some separate type. I don't know which one yet, but I'll let you guys know exactly when the kit comes and everything. So, I don't care for the haters who say, oh, it's a cop out, da 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 da, -da. I don't care. It's going to work for me. But, I'm going to go back to six ounces. I'm going to go back to walking again. You guys will see me walking. It's going to be no more fast food. It's going to be no more junk food. It's going to be no more soda, chips, candy, anything like that. Stuff. And if I do have some type of, some type of outside food, I'm going to try to stick towards Subway like me and Jama did. Sushi, even though sushi is not good for you because it's a carb. But no more bread. I'm going to cut out no carbs. I'm going to try to do no carbs the whole month of June. I'm going to try to do no soda. I'm not, I don't eat, I don't drink that much soda like every single day. So I think I can do no soda and be okay this time again. My biggest issue I think is going to be chips and, and sweets. I think chips and chocolate is going to be my biggest issue. And stress, 100% stress. So I made up in my mind, and this is and this is going to have to happen for, 20, for June. I don't think I'm going to be on the phone that much with my son. And I don't think I'll be around my parents that much either i'm gonna try to just travel and think i'm gonna try to like just do a reset like i might go to new york i might go to dc i might go to ohio i might do different stuff like just to get myself not just sitting in this house in this little corner you know like doing stuff going and doing stuff to get my mind off of just stress you know and um I think it'll be good. I think it'll be really good for me because I'm stressed out enough as it is sitting in this corner. I'm getting fat again, as you guys can tell. Um, I think I'm going to do it. And I think I want to move to D.C. too. I think I might move at the end of the year. I got to price it. Let me see how it is. But then if I don't get a job, if I don't get a job today or sometime in this, the end of this month, into the beginning of next month, then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up in June around my birthday time or after my birthday and then just stay the whole month of July with my sister and my nephews and just have fun. Like, I love being around them. There's so much fun. There's so much, there's no stress in the home. I feel safe in the home. I'm happy in the home. And I love it. You know, there's no not knowing what you're going to wake up to. There's no people telling you that they love you and they need you, but then they bullshit it behind there and it's fake. And you're like, I don't know what's real anymore. And there's no, there's no, yeah. In the last two days, I made really big decisions. I think I'm moving to DC 100%. One hundred percent. I'm moving to DC. I made up my mind. I'm not gonna wait for someone for five years. I'm not going to. No. And then my parents are even talking about selling this house already. So I gotta look for something already because I don't want to go with them because I don't even know where they would go. I don't know if they would stay in Orlando or go to Tampa. I'm not moving to Tampa to be closer to that brother. I don't like that brother in Tampa. So I don't think I would go to Tampa. I don't think so at all. Like, no. So I think I would go to D.C., stay in D.C. I'm probably just, I was born in Virginia. So that'd kind of be cool going back home in a way. <clears throat> I could do better YouTube videos because there's so much more history there. And, you know, they have the White House. They have the Capitol building. They have the Mo Memorial Mall. All those different, oh my God, it's so beautiful there. I need to record next time I'm there. Uh -huh. So I'm not going to just be sitting in a mall again, guys, eating and doing mukbangs. I'm going to be going somewhere. I know how to take the subway now or the metro, whatever they want to call it. Um, I'm going to go. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't let people hold you back, guys. Live your life. 2024, I'm doing a redo on my life, guys. I don't care if it takes me until 2026 to lose all this weight. And technically, it really won't because... I lost 180 pounds getting ready for surgery, just cutting out soda and chips and walking. And then after surgery in 2020, I lost so much weight because it was just coming off of me, coming off of me, coming off of me. 
and I was going down close sizes, down, 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 into the 3X. I was almost into the, I, I technically could have wore 2X, but it depends on the material. And then I want to do a surgery to get rid of these and the knot on my leg. Like those are the surgeries I want to do. And everybody's going to Costa Rica to do the surgeries. And I want to get my teeth fixed. I want to get my teeth, I want to get veneers in. And I heard it's very not that expensive over there. A lot of social media influencers are doing it. Even small channels are doing it. And I don't know how they do it. But I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm looking it up. Costa Rica and going over. And what they do is they shave down all these teeth and then they put the new ones on. I don't care anymore what people think. I'm doing what I want to do for myself to be happy. I want to be a new person. I turned 25 this year. I don't want to die. I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want to deal with fake people in my life. I want to slowly close the door on certain relationships and just be like, look, I love you, but I got to do me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, you know, I can't, I can't do fake people. I can't. I would, and I 100% I feel like I got fake people around me and I just, I can't do fake people. I cannot do fake people. It drives me crazy. Seriously. It drives me crazy. I can't, I can't. So if I don't get this job today, and I hope to God I do, I won't start officially until June 9th, June 15th. So that still gives me a bunch of, what, three weeks? But I'm still looking for other jobs. I actually missed one yesterday, and I tried to tell them, can I come in today? But they didn't even answer me. But anyways, um, and I still need to get a haircut. I'm, I'm not, mm -mm, no. Your boy's not gonna sit here and get fatter again Dealing with stress from people. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, I want to travel. And in 2026, I'm supposed to be going to see castles and stuff. I can't be overweight, miserable, and have my sister have to push me in a wheelchair. Hell no. I'm not doing that. And they don't have those electric wheelchairs at certain places. Mm -mm. Nope. Yes, the food looks good. Yes, the food tastes good. But like I told my best friend last night, the food don't last that long. That little happiness is gone and like, two seconds like i don't last that long but anyways guys i love you we didn't even finish all the meat it's dry as hell i don't know why i'm having to get some hoisin or something i finished all my water but yeah guys i'll let you know if i get the job i'll try to post something tomorrow memorial day is monday my crappy brother comes this weekend who i don't like from tampa and no, I don't know what the hell that was. That was like I had a stroke or something. Mm -hmm. But I love you guys. Bye-bye. But I will. Actually, let's just let it go until my dad comes. Um, I will. I will document it. I definitely will document it. I did the shots. I have them right actually up there from when I was on my Kuminin. And... I had to poke myself in my belly. Like I think the first one my mom did, the second one I did, and then so on and so on and so on. And I had to do it every single day for, I want to say like a good five weeks until we went to go see the Kuminin doctor. And then she said, he said, okay, we can take you off the shots, but then you have to come and get your finger pricked every week. And that's what I did, like a diabetic. And they pricked my finger right here. I literally would just give her the finger. She'd prick it, take the blood. Okay, you're good. See you in next week. Like, I mean, literally, I did that for three months. And then I was good when I lost enough weight that my Coumadin levels. Because those levels had to be good before I could do surgery. And they got good. He signed off. Then I had to go see a specialist, a heart specialist. They signed off. And I had surgery. You know, it just took time for the hospital to arrange the surgery. But we're going to try the shots. Everyone's talking about the shots. Everyone's done it. We'll see if it works. It doesn't work for me. Then I'm going to go back to celebration and be like, what can you guys do to help me? Do you need to shrink the pouch again? What do we need to do? Um, but guys, know your worth because people will literally take advantage of you because you make it so easy and so easy and so, so like, what is the word? So easy and so... They'll just make it easy for them, you know? So, anyway, I think this video is going to be hashtag I'm moving to D.C. I think that's what this video is going to be. But, you know, I made up my mind in three days. I said, 
I said, why am I here? Why am I wasting my time? There's nothing tying me here. My best friends, John and Lily, said, you should do it. My other best friend, Vanita, shout out to you, Vanita, and your son. She told me to do it. She doesn't even know why I'm here. I've been staying here for the last two years, and she's like, why are you here? There's no reason for you to be here. Go. And then, Jama says do it. But, yeah. Because then I'm like an hour away from, not even an hour, I'm like maybe like 45 minutes away from New York on bus. And then Jersey's right there. And I'm closer to Ohio. I think I'm like maybe six or seven hours from Ohio. But, or nine hours, nine hours from Ohio. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be blogging out the yang yang this summer. Like, I'm not going to just sit and do nothing, guys. Like, get ready. Like, get ready. I got to get myself a new phone. Like, June is my month. That's my birthday month. I feel like I'm probably not going to do nothing for my birthday, honestly. I feel like at this point, I don't know. I don't even know if anyone would really want to celebrate it. Honestly, I'm at the age where I don't even give a crap anymore. I'll be 35, whoop de doo I'll wake up. My mom and dad will probably sing me happy birthday if they even remember. And that's it. I'm not even posting it on social media anymore. I'm done doing that. Like, who begs for people to remember it's their birthday? If they don't remember it's your birthday, then they... Who cares? Famous birthdays reminds me every year on Twitter or on, on X now. They will send me happy birthday to me. I hope you have the best day ever. I don't know how I made it on famous birthdays, but they send me it every year. Since 2020 is when they figured me out. So, but they still don't have a picture of me up there, but everything else is up there. So, we'll see, we'll see. But yes, guys, since, since I posted that video about Diddy, he did an apology video. He still didn't say Cassie's name, so he wasn't really sorry. I honestly feel like that was his publicist and his lawyer who told him to do that video. I don't think... He actually was sorry at all. I think that his publicist told him to do that. And I feel like it's going to happen again. Oh, there goes the trash. That's how they break your lids, you idiot. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, okay. But. Anyway. Um. I don't know. I have a question for you guys. Let me ask you guys something. Okay. So, now I might do that in another video, but anyways. So yeah, he did an apology, sitting somewhere tropical, wherever he was, right? I think he's in Miami, because you know he has a house in Miami that was raided too by the police. Um, he's already lost deals. Like even the state of New York, the governor, this black guy now, it's a new black governor. He's talking to his people about taking back the key that they gave him because, you know, he's he's from New York, blah, 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 blah. They're talking about taking it back. They've never done that before. They've never wanted to do it before, but they're in talks to take it around, back. He's already lost some of his brand deals. He's already lost a lot of stuff. It happens. A lot of people say Diddy is done, done for. But I'll do another video on that later for you guys. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I keep going back and forth about a lot of relationships that I'm in right now. Like, I'm just like, have I done too much? Am I giving too much? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, yeah. Like, I don't understand what's going on. But. I think I'm going to stop with a lot of the relationships that I'm in. I just don't finish that. There's nothing. Like, you know the love is there, but is it, like, love as, like, a friendship? Is it love of, like, that cousin or that uncle or that auntie or that brother that you really just don't want to be around, but you tolerate them because you love them? Like, what is it? You know, like, that's kind of, like, where I'm at right now because it's, like, I love my mom to death and I'm and I'm super even though we fight like crazy and we're super close but at the same time it's like I need to get out before I can, I never can get out if you guys understand what I'm saying 
And I don't want to be around people that criticize me for, you have a disability, you can't really do this, you can't read, you can't write, you da 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 da. And it's just like, it's like, okay, you want to be a hater, you want to be a jerk, you don't want to, you, you don't want to, um, you don't want to put that title on me. I remember I got so pissed off at my son because he said this a bunch of shit to me, like not that long ago, right? We got in a bad fight. And I was like, I got so pissed at him because he was like, you're fat, you're lazy, you live with your parents, you don't have a job, you can't read, you can't spell. There's like all this stuff, like literally just dogging me out, like literally talking shit to me, right? After I do everything for him, okay? So I was like, if his Nana or his uncle or anyone else knew that he talked to me like that, they would probably pop him in the face and say, what the f is wrong with you? Why are you treating him out like that? Like he does so much for you, okay? No, this kid has literally everything he wants. A brand new computer, a VR set, a nice iPhone, a whole bunch of clothes, stuff that I've bought him over the years, right? Yes, I know, I'm a dumbass for supporting him, right? But I literally went off on him because the whole time that I was with his mother, right? And I was with her for seven years. Not once, not once, right? Did she ever judge me for having a disability or being overweight? Not once. She literally would read text messages for me, read things in the store for me, whatever. She did not care. She was just like, hey, he needs a little bit more help. She says, I'm home smart. She's street smart. That's how we, that's how our relationship was. She never once judged me at all. She never said, why can't you read? She even tried to help me read sometimes, break down words and stuff. She's like, we got to get you reading. My dad's home, guys. I'll do a part two, okay? I love you guys. Peace out.